G'day, how you all going? This is Ian Harris from Australia here, and today we're going to paint this beautiful palm sunset, okay? In acrylic for beginners, okay? So let's get it on the board. All right, so we'll get this onto the easel here and get ready to start making this thing happen, all right? The colours we used was Payne's Grey, Cadmium Orange, Mid Yellow, Titanium White, Orange Gold, and Raw Umber. And the brushes I used was my two inch brush, a small flathead brush, my hog bristle fan brush, a good knife, and a number six script liner, and also some retarder. I've got my impasto yellow, which is a sloth, a, which is a soft flowing paint, and I've got this in the retarder. Normally I prime up my boards in white, but this acrylic board that I've made already has a white primer on it, and it's dry. So instead of doing it in white, I want to do it in yellow. So we'll get all the yellow on here. See, that's very dry. I'm going to have to wet the canvas so it'll flow. Oh, there's bits of dirty stuff on my board. Doesn't matter, it's only a piece of art. All right. Okay, I've got my cadmium orange with retarder. And we're going to blend some of this into that yellow, okay? So I'm just using my fan brush because I just want to put bits on there to blend in subtly. So like around there, grab my blending brush and let's blend this into that yellow. Oh, I'm liking that. Nice soft transitions, warm, merging, beautiful. That's what I want. Yes, done it. Now I want pretty much the other side done as well. Bit across the top and around here. Nice little twirls within your wrist. And blend them out into that yellow. So the transition is soft and artistic looking and you're really happy with it. Because we want a bit of a yellow glow about here somewhere. So we're going to use a red gold in this as well, which is pretty similar to orange, but not too much. I'll get some more around here. So you can see what I'm doing. That's the bit that I'm going to blend. You watch how this turns out, why I put it in that way. Because it's going to blend in that area. Smash your brush sometimes if it's filling up with paint. Okay, because all this yellow, I want it sort of warmish, orangey tinge to it. Blending those harsh, shadowed pieces of orange in a bit more. Where are we? Somewhere there. We're just putting the yellow back what we blended out. So we're sort of creating the piece into sections. Sometimes you've got to put a piece on, you might end up damaging it a bit, but then you come back to recreate it. I've looked at this picture, I liked it. Straight away I thought, that's a nice artistic look. A nice artistic look that a beginner can enjoy to paint. Now before this dries, we want to get some raw umber so down here, we've got our raw umber. We're going to put that onto the fan brush, like I've done in previous videos for the mist in the sky, okay? So we sort of want some light little clouds here. Just whispering. I'm barely touching this canvas as I'm doing this. 
I want to do a bit and then blend it, okay? Because if I made them really blodgy and blobby, it'll make the clouds that I'm trying to put on this nice warm sky, it'll make them look like crap. And that's not what we want. Okay, we want a little bit more. Just don't let it go blot. You don't want it going like that on there. Big blob, big blodgy bits. You want it sort of scraped and teased in there, just a bit at a time, just so you can come back with your blending brush and quickly blend that before it gets too stubborn on there. Now we just need a little bit over probably this side here. Oh, went a bit heavy there. Let's quickly get that heavy bit blended out in a long line and then smear him everywhere. That'll do. Now we're going to get this beautiful red gold that I bought and put that down the bottom of that, okay? All right, got our red gold with Retarder. Get it right into your brush. And we want to come, let's say about here, and then it will work our way up to that yellow, because we want to leave some yellow, but at the same time, blend it, okay? Nice and thick yellow gold this is. No, not yellow gold, sorry, it's red gold. It's a Series 3 paint. For those of you that aren't sure with Series, when you buy acrylic paints, they come in Series 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And the higher the number, the more better quality the Series is. Now we're going to blend this into that top area. Nice merging colours. That's it. That's working the way I want. This is just something for you beginners to do a nice, easy, different coloured looking sunset. Instead of having the typical blue sky, we can have a orangey, yellowy sky with bits of brown in there. Now, without cleaning the brush, I'm grabbing that raw umber, putting it on my brush. And we want to bring this colour straight underneath that red gold onto the canvas there. Just somewhere here. Just enough so these will have a blending transition of their own into those two colours as well. There we go! Now we're going to blend this raw umber into that red gold. If we can, just tickle it. Just so it's there. Bring that down and bring that one up. You can see what's happening. I'll come over this side. Just so it's blended. Now I've got my round sponge, get the yellow again, load up that round sponge, and we're going to make a sun in our sky, a setting sun in our sky. So we want the sun about here, pretty, pretty much in the middle. Now if I turn that, it really concentrates the paint on there, where if I just dabbed it, you get light bits. Because it's a sun, we want it to be quite intense, okay? So I'm getting this on there. Just to give it that little bit more intense, I might just get some white. See what I've done there? I just smashed it on some white. 
and it's put some white in there as well just so we can see the intensity of it that's looking good so it's sort of white and yellow mixed together you can do this with a brush you can have a template cut out and put it on there whatever you feel okay right before too much more happens I want to dry this so we can sink that Sun back into the horizon line Alrighty, we get the fan brush again, chisel the paint onto there. Now this red orange, we sort of come across just like so. Grab your blending brush and just gently merge that into the colours there, just so it looks like it's sitting across the sun there. See why I've dried the sun? We didn't want to blur the sun up to buggery, you know. Where's that brush go? So I'm going to come across here like so and just blend, 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 match it all in, panel beat it together, merge it together. Grab the colour we use for the clouds. Bring that back in front very lightly and then quickly blend that in. I'm going to use my little beauty brush, my little short-haired stubborn one. And that's just merging that in front of the sun. So as it looks like we've got proper things happening in our universe. Maybe a bit more. Just keep playing with it till you're happy with the texture. I mean, not the texture, the, the depth of the colour you're putting on there. Because there's some already in the brush I can maybe all right I don't want to muck with it too much otherwise I'll stuff it this one here is a bit light okay All right, now we're ready to put the, the, the water in. Now that's dried, masked up. I've got the, the flowing white paint with retarder in it. I'm priming the bottom of this canvas just so we've got a movable surface to blend our watercolors, okay? A bit more white on there. All right, there's some brown sort of still. I didn't quite dry it enough. But that's all right, it's only an art piece. All right, now we're going to put some um, bits of yellow. Uh, we'll add, now this, the, the, the paint I'm adding into this now is not going to have retarder in it, okay? So I want to add just the littlest bit of the red gold again, chiseled onto a fan brush, and probably just come from this corner here and blend that into the white. Look at that. Oh, it's soft. It's picked up some of the brown under there. That's okay. And maybe a bit over this side as well. Just about there. Blend that in. Now we want to get some beautiful yellow into it, okay? Okay, got the yellow onto the fan brush. And now in here, we want to come from the horizon line all the way back this way. I'm scratching it in long lengths, like so. This is just our water. I didn't want to do it all at the same time, otherwise I've got to fight with time. Now I want to blend that into these edgy colors there. Just a nice transition of those two. Just so it's not all the one boring yellow colour. Now I'll come all the way across it. Right, we've lost the sum of our red gold there, so we'll quickly put that back. Give that a blend. 
Oh, yes, that's how I want it. That's exactly how I want it. <coughs> From the edge into the middle. Get the red gold on this side, probably around here. Now with your blending brush, you want to come from the edge in. Clean your brush if you have to. Because if I go like this, I'll get a beginning line at, do I want that? All right, I've chiseled some structured white onto my fan brush and I want to put it on, not scraping it on, just I want to put it on so it's on there reasonably thick at this front area, just like so. And then we'll blend that. Very softly, you don't want to lose it. All right, grab yourself a knife, get a bloody good knife. We're just gonna get some of the thicker white paint on there with a nice roll of paint. Wipe your knife, then load it. Okay, and we'll put some, we'll just tickle some of those white bits on there, which is going to be down this end of the water there. Okay. And like I've said before, the skinnier you can get these, the more professional looking your painting can probably look, and you'll be quite happy with it. All right, you can get an idea how she's looking now, eh? Payne's grey. Okay, I've just got a little fan brush, something I can push around. I want about an island. I want a, some somewhat of an island here, okay? Somewhere about there. So now I'll colour that in. So I'm going to use the edge of the brush. I'm tickling it just to get the, the a hard edge. I don't want a feathered broken edge there, okay? Payne's grey is just... It's sort of dark looking, but it's not pure black. If you can help it, try not to do dark areas on your painting just in straight out black, okay? That's just my philosophy, I'm telling to you. A lot of other people do it as well, but some other people think, no, I'll use black. So we've got one on that side, and we want to get at least probably another one over this side here somewhere because so probably around there like so keeping it in perspective okay so there it is there it was that bloody easy now I'll scratch him in there just like so okay all right so now I'm going to get a script liner and this is a number six script liner and we'll get that Payne's grey again down here you want it reasonably damp, get that brush in it and twist it, okay? If you don't twist it, you're going to have trouble getting it onto your canvas and you've got to twist it up the board as you go like that, okay? But we're not doing a palm trunk, not a... Okay, so we're using the Payne's Grey. Now we've got our pencil line there, so we've got one about here. Coming up. <coughs> I've got a bit of deculated hair on this brush. I'm just straightening it out. There we go. Now, let's get that up there. We'll get another one about here. We want it reasonably fat. And you want the edges nice and solid. You don't want them broken up and feathered. Okay? Otherwise, it looks like grade five crap. And we've got another one about here. So we're twisting, 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 twisting. That one's a bit taller though. 
And that's pretty much our trunks, okay? Okay, grabbing our Payne's Grey on our fan brush. Now we want to put some, we'll bring a, a branch over here, just like so. Bring it up, flick it off. How's that looking? And we'll flick some down as well. I shouldn't have drawn the lines for the um, actual branches because what I've got to do now, I've got to try and cover them all up. Okay, my battery went flat. I had to charge it up. I've started this side. Now, I've got another flat brush here. I've never done a palm before, but I found this side easier with this brush. So I use this to make the trunk. Okay, and then, excuse my big ugly head, get back over here. <clears throat> and then we'll put some more. palm leaves over this now what I found I'm clogging up the middle of them hang on we'll put something here I'm clogging up the middle of them just with just so they look busy in there and we'll do this last one bring him down off the trunk a bit over there You're making the ridge of it and then bringing it down and then clog up the middle clog up the middle of the palm make it look busy let's just see what that looks like in a frame we'll frame up this little kitten okay i hope you like this little exercise share and subscribe to my video channel and if you like what i do tell a friend if you don't tell everybody okay all the best goodbye good luck and good on you.